integration, which is basically, there's three kinds of problems. So either the child doesn't have an environment conducive to doing homework, the child doesn't know how to do their homework, the skill building, or the child does know how to do the homework, but they're just not motivated to do the homework. So we'll talk about strategies for, we'll talk about each one. All right. Okay, so what's the homework environment like in your program? What would you say? Quiet area. Okay. Paint me a picture. <coughs> I don't know anything about your about what the homework is like. So what would you let me know? So it's quiet. What else? How is it structured? There's a specific time for homework. Okay, so you guys have a specific time frame for their homework. Mm -hmm. And what does the room look like? They have a room vary, but we usually, I mean, I don't know, most of the sites have the kids separated by grade level. Okay, so they're separated. So they're easier like, to help out because most kids come from the same school Perfect. to the same time, so some kids are in the same class. So it's basically, at least at my site, it's basically just sometimes for about a good amount of them, it's just one specific area that I have to work on, and that area will work on like four or five different kids at the same time. Okay, and so how many kids would you say there are to staff the kids? It's a 15 to 1 ratio we have. Okay. And so do you guys ever find that difficult to help, you know, with their, yes. with all of them? Yes, you do. Okay. Um, all right. So basically it's good that you guys have a set time for homework so they know this is the time that I have to do my work. And how much time do they have? 30 minutes. Oh, there's 30 minutes. Okay. And what are the grades? From, uh, second of, second of it depends on the site. Depends on the site. They have to agree. All right. And so for the older kids, I'm sure the 30 minutes is not if they're taking home the work. Okay. Um, and then again, the location, it should be quiet, well lit, with minimal distractions. Um, so if there's a room with, uh, you know, big windows like this and people are walking by and the kids are getting distracted or, um, do you guys notice that there are any distractions in your sites? That the kids are, you know, looking around, or people are coming in, walking through a hallway, or you think that the rooms that you guys have are? Well, in one of our sites, we do, because the whole entire wall is is glass. It's like this. It's like this. So you can see who goes by, who goes to the bathroom, who gets out of the bathroom, who's walking in. Oh, so, so all the walls are like that, so you couldn't face. Yeah. Okay. Because both sides are like this. Okay. It's a, it's, a, it's a challenge for you guys. Yes, it is. Okay, and you notice that that's very distracting to them? Well, what we have is dividers. Okay. So we're blocking that for them to see. Perfect. So you guys already are yeah. minimizing the distractions, which is great. Um, and then also, uh, a good thing is to have a homework kit on their desk, which I'll explain um, prior for them, to them doing work. A lot of times, um, if the kids don't have the necessary materials, I'll show you the pencils, pens, whatever they need. Uh, they're getting up. They're getting up to sharpen their pencil. They're getting up to uh, find an eraser. They're getting up to get their books and to you know get to distra be distracted from sitting there and doing their homework. So a way to kind of eliminate that is for them to just have everything they need by their desk, having all their pencils, all their books. Um, creating a kit, you can get containers from the dollar store, it can be a fun project um, for them, and just having everything there. So do they usually, what is your experience with um, their materials? Is it at their desk? Do they have to get up for it? Do they not have some materials? What do you guys notice? On my side, I'm like leaving it on the desk, because then I start playing with it. <laughs> so we have like um, our big desk, and we just have different containers, and with like pencils, erasers, uh, Okay. So your so with your program is a the materials are out there the whole before homework time? Yes, yeah, the whole okay. day they're left out there. So like use it. Okay, so perfect. And then right when homework time hits they can get they can pick they can up. They grab whatever they need and perfect. Okay. So and is that the same with everyone? That they have all the materials that they need or yes. Okay. Um and then also what do you guys do if um if students don't know their assignments, do you ever have that where students they, they come in and they don't know, you know, what their homework is? For example, like they just don't know it at all. 
Yeah. Or does everyone pretty much they know? I mean, there's some kids that may leave homework at times. I mean, some kids don't write it down. So I usually go to another kid that would be in his class or would be in her class. Okay. As a result, and then if, if so, then I would copy, because we have a, a copy machine, so we copy the homework for him to do. Perfect. If the parent know what happened. Then okay. So yeah, if they don't know other assignments, you guys can recommend a, a planner, a small notebook, um, I don't know how much communication you have with their teachers. None. Okay. So a planner, a notebook, and I know we provide um, materials. So if you, you can always request materials from us um, that we can always give you guys for to make a homework today, um, or you know, small notebooks or planners, whatever you guys need. All right. So okay. So let's say you guys have a great homework environment. Um, set up for them, but what do you do if the child, they don't know how to do their homework? They just don't understand. <coughs> that is what we're going to talk about right now. So it's important to move around the room to monitor the progress and help, help the students. And we're going to go over this technique, the over the shoulder technique, which is basically as you stand behind the child, you ask them the problem solving strategy and work with them to teach the correct way to complete the problem or answer the problem. So it's basically you're looking at the process of how they're completing the problem, not whether you know they're getting it right or wrong, but their, their process of how they get there. And we're actually going to practice that um, a little bit later. And then what do you guys do if they have no homework on a particular day? What do you guys do? Read a book. Perfect. So you're saying they read a book. Are they reading or do you have some like that cat sheet? Perfect. Okay. So um, encourage them to read silently, working on academic packets of work. I know at intervention, well, you guys have the FCAT, so that's perfect for them to work on. Uh, but I know online, intervention, interventioncentral.org, they have math worksheet generators, um, tlsbooks.com, they have K through sixth grade worksheets, abcteach.com, they have pre K through high school with different subjects of worksheets. Um, so you guys can always find worksheets online to give them, you know, academic work to do. All right. Oh, yeah. Can you go over those resources again? Yes. So interventioncentral.org has a math worksheet generator. Um, and then www.tlsbooks.com has a K through 6th grade. They have worksheets. And then abcteach.com, they also have um, pre-K to high school in different subjects and worksheets. Like, um, and free to download is pretty Yeah, free, right, yeah. Okay. All right, so now another a helpful strategy, um, you know, if others need help, which you guys already seem to be doing, is to cluster the students into groups by either grade level or the assignments that they have, so that if, since there's 15 students in one of you, if they have a question, they can always ask each other. Um, and then with, with um, staff, it's recommended just to guide them to discover the answers, not to just, you know, give them the answers. And so, um, so basically modeling the steps for them, asking them what they're supposed to do next, again, the process of how to get there, helping them get there on their own. So I'm going to have...